Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm doing a crochet with me for a Squishmallow bunny. So if you guys didn't know, I have been making Squishmallow crochet patterns that are inspired by actual Squishmallows, like the brand Squishmallows, and um, I've been kind of recreating those in crochet, but of course taking my own creative liberties as well and kind of making them my own. Today I'm going to be crocheting Bop the bunny squishmallow so i will insert a picture right here of which squishmallow i'm talking about and um this is basically just going to be a crochet with me as well as me making the pattern so if you guys are interested in the pattern it's going to be up on my red blur and my etsy shop the day that this video is coming out so i will link it below for you guys as well as all of the materials i'm using will be linked below and um with that i'm just going to show you the materials so i do have burnout blanket yarn in the color pink dust this is the color that i am using for the body of the bunny and i do have burnett baby blanket in the color white and um it doesn't have to be baby blanket it can be regular blanket but um this is just what my local store had they didn't have any white blanket but they had white baby blanket and i find them to be very similar so I've been using this for my Squishmallows and I'm going to be also using it for the bunny. And I also have an eight millimeter crochet hook because that's what these yarns suggest. And um, of course I'm gonna use other materials like stuffing, stitch markers, yarn needle, that kind of stuff as well. So all of that will be linked in the description box below for you guys as well as the pattern since it's going to be coming out the same day this video is coming out but with that let's just get straight on to crocheting alrighty y'all this is what i have so far of the bunny and this is just the increasing rows and i'm now going to do a lot of rounds that are just single crochet to make this a lot bigger and then i'll kind of come to you with an update on that Alright y'all, as you can tell I have a lot of rows of just single crochet now, so I am going to start my rows where I'm doing white for the belly, and then shortly after that I'll figure out where I want to place the eyes based on that. So, I am just going to basically do some single crochets until I'm to about like right here or so and start with white and then more single crochets in pink and then so on and so forth to create the belly on the bunny. Alright you guys, I have one row where I have done white so far, and by the way, I'm sorry if I say row instead of round, I'm the world's worst about saying row when I mean round, but anyway, I have a round done with the pink, and I'm actually going to do the eyes a little bit later because I'm not 100% sure how I want those to be, I don't know if I want to use safety eyes, or if I want to sew them on and make them kind of like closed, we'll see. But right now I'm just going to keep going in rounds and doing the white part as well. And um, I will keep you guys updated as I have made more progress. Also at some point I'm going to stop and try to figure out the ears as well so I can get those attached before I start stuffing and closing it up but that is it for right now
All right, y'all, whenever I get to the color change part again, I'm going to actually not change to white yet, and I'm going to start figuring out the ears. That way, hopefully, I can measure out how long they need to be and all of that. So, right here is where the next color change would be, so I'm going to just cut this off and leave it here to do the color change in a little bit, but I'm going to figure out the ears next. So, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do them, so just like with making most of my patterns, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error right now until I figure out how I would like it to look, basically. Okay y'all, I've done increasing rows for this first ear, so I'm now going to just do a bunch of single crochets until it is a really long ear because that is what it looks like on the Squishmallow that I am sort of recreating, but more or less just inspired by. So I am just going to keep doing rows of a single crochet to make really long bunny ears. So that is what I am doing and again I will come back with an update at some point. Okay y'all this is what I got going on so far for the ear. I think I'm going to do one or two more rounds just because I think I'll actually probably attach it like right here or so. So I would like it to kind of meet where the white is. So just one or two maybe three more rounds. And then I will repeat this again for the other ear, obviously. Alright y'all, here's what I have for the bunny right now. I did just finish two ears. And I'm going to work on putting the eyes on right now. And then the nose and the mouth as well I'm going to be embroidering on with Red Heart Super Saver in black. And a yarn needle. I haven't put the backing on these eyes yet, just because I want to see, based off of where I put the mouth and the nose, how it's going to look. But um, if I like where everything's at, then I will obviously go ahead and uh, put the backing on these eyes and everything. But right now I'm just kind of testing it out and seeing what I like. I also might not even use the safety eyes, I might use this thread we'll see i'm just using this as kind of a marker right now and i'm going to make a little nose and everything which i'm already doing this wrong <laughs> gotta start from here because i have it tied already Okay, I did the little nose and mouth and attached one ear, and um, I'm not going to attach the other. And I was looking at this, and I was like, this looks like a dog, and I'm basically making it exactly like the Squishmallow, so why does this look like a dog, but theirs looks like a rabbit? And then I realized they have whiskers on the side, so I'm going to add that as well, and hopefully it starts to look more like a bunny instead of a dog, because... um. As of right now, this really just does look like a dog. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get some more black yarn and work on that. And um, if that doesn't help, then I'm going to switch these eyes out 
from the safety eyes to also be thread and do like the little kind of crescent eyes like half half closed eyes that they have on the actual squishmallow and see if that helps as well but right now this is what i'm working with okay i decided to take out the safety eyes and do the little like half eye and i feel like it looks better already so i'm going to do the other side as well as the little whiskers and then attach the other ear and continue on with the body and then it'll actually be done Alright you guys, we have a little face, which I think it looks a lot more like a bunny than it did beforehand for sure. So I'm going to attach the other ear now and um, then continue to work on the body. Alright y'all, I have finished all of the rounds that have the white part for the belly, so now it's basically decreasing, so I'm going to do quite a bit of stuffing right now for the whole body, and then as I'm closing, I'm also going to continue to stuff. So, we are really close to having this little guy done! Okay, so I've kind of decided for the ears, I think I'm going to remake them with white on the inside. And I think I'm going to make them to where they're like up here and sticking straight up. The Squishmallow does have them like this, but I don't know what it is about the Squishmallow that makes it look like a rabbit and this that makes it look like a dog. But there's something that just makes me think like this is a pink dog. And I don't want people to think that, I want them to think it's a rabbit, so I'm going to redo these. To have white in the center and have them sticking straight up so yeah that's gonna be pretty much it though i'll possibly record the process of me doing it but also possibly not i think i'm just gonna do the same steps that i was doing except with a color change to white in the center all right y'all this is what i have the ear looking like right now and um it's just pink on one side and with white on the inside my plan is to kind of sew it on to where it's like this but obviously it needs to be a lot longer so i'm going to make it a lot longer and then it will be attached sort of like this and i am going to make a tail as well just a white little circle basically and that's gonna be it so i'll probably come to it whenever it's completely done um just so I can focus on doing the ears and the little tail. But that's really pretty much it. Probably like another hour or so of me working on this and I'll be done. Hopefully. Alright you guys. I'm literally so happy with how this Squishmallow turned out. As you guys know, I have been making Squishmallows and basing them off of actual Squishmallows. That's why I'm calling them Squishmallows. But also taking my own creative liberties with it so um as you know the bunny i was basing this off of actually had ears that were down and not sticking up but um i decided to do mine sticking up because i felt like it looked too much like a dog with the ears down like this so i decided to do this with the ears and um i feel like it turned out super cute and it was definitely worth my time to redo the ears and um i also have a little tail which i know you guys didn't see so it's just like a little circle with stuffing in it 
and sewed on and it's so cute you guys so um of course this pattern is on my etsy and my rippler if you guys are interested in purchasing it um it would really mean the world to me and i would love to see you guys make bunnies for easter um so if you're interested again that's all going to be linked below and um yeah just thank you so much for watching this video and um as normal for all of my crochet with me's pattern materials like hooks yarn all of that stuff will be linked below for y'all and um again thank you so much for watching i'm literally so happy with how this turned out and um if you guys didn't know i also have a squishmallow penguin and soon there will be a squishmallow crab pattern coming out so um you know i'm doing like a lot of squishmallows because i'm obsessed right now um so if you guys are as obsessed as me then make sure you are checking them out and again they're always going to be on etsy and rippler and i'm just katie being creative everywhere so um yeah and instagram is the best place to keep up with when new patterns are coming out because for this one i just decided to do a crochet with me since it is almost easter but um for a lot of them i don't do crochet with me's so if you want to know when new patterns are coming out obviously just follow me on instagram but if you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up if y'all did enjoy this video and you want to see more from me make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias my vlog channel and my rebler shop all of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys and with all of that thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time goodbye